Prop Talk Live. I'm Peter Kessler. Great pleasure to introduce you to two-time and current U.S. Open champion Ernie Els. That has a good ring to it, doesn't it? Hi, Peter. Nice to see you again. Great to see you. Happy birthday. Well, thank you very much. A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> that means you've got, uh, what, eight more majors to play in your 20s, right? Yeah, yeah, I've got a, yeah, actually right, I'm 28 now, just turned 28 about two weeks ago, as you say, and uh, feel a lot older now, though. You know, it feels like I'm one of the older guys on tour all of a sudden, you know, with David Duval and Tiger and Justin, all these youngsters coming. That's through. right, you're the oldest of the, of the 20-something pack. Well, we'll talk about your friend, the U.S. Open trophy, in a few minutes, but I want to thank you for bringing that in tonight, just giving me the chance to touch it. You actually got to thank uh, the Lake Nona Club. It's actually standing at uh, Gregor Jameson's in his pro shop, and uh, we had to get the key to get it unlocked. But uh, they were friendly enough to give us the cup for tonight. Well, on behalf of everybody who loves the game and everybody here at the Golf Channel, thank you and thank you, Lake Nona. You know, there was a time that people probably don't appreciate before U.S. Open trophies who think that one day you woke up years ago with a perfect golf swing and just fell out of bed who don't know that there was a time when you couldn't make money on the Nike Tour, when you missed getting your card in, in 1990 at Q School. Does that seem like a long time ago now? Yeah, it does, you know, in a way. But I'm, I'm happy that I went through that, uh, that journey in my life. You know, uh, people uh, come, to the, come to the tour, the USPJ Tour, in different directions. Um, I'm a foreigner uh, coming to America. You know, I played around the world. I, I tried my luck in South Africa. Played pretty well down, down there, but I, I knew I had the talent to, to take my game further. You know, my, I had people behind me that believed in my golf game and myself. And I had to go out there and, and prove it for myself. It took me quite a few years, as you say, to, to get to where I am today. But, uh, you know, I decided not to go into the college program when I was a youngster, just coming out of high school. I went through the military in South Africa. And when I was 20, I started touring. Uh, I came to the Hogan Tour in those days. Uh, didn't do too, too well, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Went through tour school twice, uh, failed there. And then I went to Europe. Yeah, I played there for almost two seasons before I got my breakthrough in America. So uh, it's been quite an interesting journey. I've made a lot of good friends around the world, and uh, I learned a lot from my golf game. Just a few months ago, 